Hi, Dad, it's me. Hi, Arthur. Your mother wants you to call. Something about summer vacation plans. All right, I'll call her after Space Cadets. You're spending July with her, right? Yeah, and Jerry. No, I'm sure your mother will take you somewhere exotic. She must love having all that money. Dad. <laughs> That's for putting the plastic fly in my coffee. <laughs> so, why are you all dressed up? Oh, Carol and I are going out. But Space Cadets is on. Don't you want to find out what happens with Dr. Bob? Well, you can tell me what happens. I'll be right out, Carol. Well, how do I look? Fine. There's pizza in the freezer, just throw it in the microwave. When will you be home? Oh, not too late, I imagine. We all have to work tomorrow. <laughs> See you later, old buddy. I've got a little surprise for you. How about something romantic? Wake up in the morning, feeling shine on the tree. I gotta go to the store. That's for the plastic fly in my milk. That was funny. Yeah, right. Hey, did you watch Space Cats last night? I bet your dad's worried. Dr. Bob's in trouble. He didn't see it. But you guys always watch Space Cadets. He had a date with Carol. Again? Again. I wish they'd break up. They're too old to date. Why, how old is she? I don't know, 30-something? She's probably desperate to get married. Relax, you'll never get married again. I don't know, that's what my mom said. And now she's married to Jerry. It's okay, let's go. He and Shane did acid together, you know. Yeah, and I hear Shane's still unconscious. I bet it was all his idea. He probably doesn't even feel guilty. Yeah, druggies are like that. Here comes Snake, such a hunk. And I've decided he's gonna take me to the graduation dance. Allison, you hardly even know him. That can be changed. He's good at math, and I think I need a little extra tutoring. <laughs> good luck. And will remain in effect until further notice. Thank you. Hi, Kathleen. I wish I'd never read her diary. We used to be best friends. But you helped her, right? I don't know. I still never see her eat anything. Now she hates me for life. Hi. Hi, Snake. So, um, how are things? Great. You? Good. Good. Great. Well, um, I guess I'll see you. Yeah. Bye. 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 Oh, Snake? Hi. Did you understand those math questions Garcia gave us? Uh, yeah. I didn't. Do you think you could help me? Sure. Thanks. You're so nice. Um, I'll see you in class. All right. 
She likes him. He likes her. I get to stay home and play old maid with my mother. Melanie, they're in the same class. They're just talking about homework. No, I'm sorry. I cannot compete with a glamorous niner. I might as well join a convent. Melanie, you know he likes you. He's asked you out twice. And twice I've ruined it. He's not going to ask me out again. Then you ask him out. I couldn't. Could I? Ida Lucas to the principal's office. Smile. <laughs> Sorry. When's lunch? I'm starving. Want some gum? Sure. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Sit. Hey, Roomhead. Where'd you get all this stuff? Me and my dad found this great place. Joe's Joe Comporium. Hey, we're going there tonight. Want to come with us? Sure. Your dad is so cool. He used to be, till Carol came along. Come on, she can't be that bad. She tries to make like she's my mother or something. Hi, Arthur. How is school? Arthur, we gotta do something. I'm still waiting for assignments from some of you so they can be put up on display for open house tomorrow night. All right, class dismissed. Don't forget there's a meeting of the open house committee in room 215 right now. Please note that due to lack of interest, tonight's pep rally has again been canceled. Hey, have you ever played a trick on Carol? I wouldn't dare, she's got no sense of humor. So do it. She'll get mad and they'll split up. The whoopee cushion. All right. Yeah, so it sounds like it'll be fun. Yeah, it will be. Oh, and I'll see you at the meeting. All right, bye. Bye. He said yes. Who else are you going to invite? Oh, I don't know. All the grade nines. But what am I going to wear? He's such a hunk. Oh, wow. <laughs> Snake. You are so lucky. She's a babe. She's all right. All right? You're not still hung up on Melanie, are you? Every time you go out with her, it's a disaster. I wonder if she doesn't like me. You're not a lot of help. I'm trying to help you out now. Look, Melanie's a baby. Allison's a babe. You gotta fix your priorities, man. Joey. Come on. Oh, hey, Tim. You saw Shane, right? So how's he doing? He's still unconscious. Does he look really bad? Why don't you go and see for yourself? Well, we're not real close. <laughs> Anyways, me in hospitals, you know. No, I don't. She's blonde. She's beautiful. Maybe I could dye my hair. Relax. Don't worry. It'll be fine. I'm so nervous. Don't be. But it's important. We have to decide. Should I say, welcome to Degrassi? Or, welcome to Degrassi? It's up to you, Alex. Whichever feels more natural. Welcome to Degrassi. all the help we can get. Okay, let's go over it one more time. Our job is to make sure the evening goes as smoothly as possible. This chick is Kathleen chicken. Kathleen is making the best of tour guide I think she's <laughs> I love this. I gotta get one. <laughs> this is weird. He said he'd be here by 4 o'clock. It's her! Um, give me the whoopee cushion. Hi, Arthur. Hey, Yick, buddy. Hi, Herb. Carol, this is Yick, a good friend of Arthur's. Yick, this is Carol, a good friend of mine. Hello, Yick. Hi. Hello, Arthur. How was school? 
fine. Oh, here, have a seat. Oh, no, thanks. No, really, you must be tired. No, thanks, really. Oh. Oh, Dad, can you come with us to Joe's? Joe's? I'm sorry I forgot. We've made arrangements to go bowling. <laughs> We've got a bowling league at work. I convinced your father to give it a try. Well, you guys can go. You don't want an old fuddy-duddy like me around anyway. <laughs> I called Mum last night. She's going to take me to France for two weeks in July. France? How nice. Can I get you a beer, sweetie? Thank you. I'll come with you. <laughs> I hate when he does that. You know, I don't want to even think about that, all okay, right? Okay, okay. So you want to go to Joe's, sweetie? Give me a break. <laughs> it's fun. Seven o'clock, time to... I guess you were a bit surprised to see Carol. She really likes you, you know. And I know you'll like her too once you get to know her. Yeah, right, Dad. So how was Joe's joke emporium? Are you and Carol going to get married? I don't know about marriage. Carol and I are... Um, well... Well, there's commitment, but, uh... I'm going to school. So, I'll see you later at the open house. Sure, Dad. I'm looking forward to it. Great. All right, this is the plan. I'm gonna make sure that my mom gets you as a tour guide tonight, so please, don't bring her into Radich's class. She's gonna wanna see her home room. Tell her we don't have home rooms anymore. Tell her it moved, anything. So, did y'all snake out? I didn't get a chance. Well, I'm sure you'll get a chance tonight. I hope so. Because of tonight's open house, today's after-school activities will be rescheduled to next week. Hi, Arthur. Have some peanuts. Here, they're good. All right. Carol slept over last night. Really? I went in there to wake up Dad, and there she was. You saw them in bed? Were they naked? I didn't stick around to find out. You know what this means, don't you? What? She's gonna get a toothbrush and leave it in the bathroom. Then she's gonna bring over a suitcase, and then another suitcase. And then all her stuff will be moved in. Well, how do you know that? Because that's what happened before my mother and Jerry got married. Looking forward to your parents coming to the open house tonight. Some of whom we'll meet for the first time. Others, of course, were old, old acquaintances. Right, Mr. Jeremiah? <laughs> this is your principal, Mr. Lawrence speaking. 
Our thought for the day is understanding. Remember, don't step on someone else's toes without first putting yourself in their shoes. Hey, Tim. The next time you see Shane, could you uh, give him this card? Give it to him yourself. I can't. Why not? You went to the concert with him. You took the acid with him. Hey, he didn't have to take the acid. But you could have stayed with him. If you had, he wouldn't be in the hospital. You knew it was his first time. Don't you think I know that? Don't you think I feel bad? Hey guys, welcome to the grassy. Welcome to the grassy. <laughs> Snake, why hello. Tonight, a movie. Hmm. No, no, I don't think I have anything planned. Welcome to the grassy. Welcome to the grassy. There's Snake. Go get him. He's gonna say you Snake. Nice shirt. Yeah, why don't you show me your color? Great. Uh, my mom bought it for me. Snake, why don't you and... Uh, I'll, I'll go with Snake. Snake. Snake's paired with Melanie. What? Says who? Says my list. Waiting. Welcome to the grass. Hi, we're your tour guides. Um, uh, I'm Melanie. Welcome to the I'm Marty. Mom, this is Caitlin. Hi. Hello. So this is the young lady you can't stop talking about. Um, Don't you think it's time to start the tour, Caitlin? This way. <laughs> She's just as pretty as you said she was. Mom. Hi, Mrs. Jeremiah. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. Welcome to the grassy. Welcome to the grassy. <laughs> uh, this is homeroom 8B, Mr. Ratch's class. Once you're done in here, you can go across Hello. the hall to the drama classroom. Hi. Hi. Hello. So, uh, this is fun. Yeah. Snake. Would you like to go to a movie with me tomorrow night? Sure. Really? Oh, wait a minute. Do you know Allison? Allison. Yeah, well, she invited me to her party tomorrow night, and I promised I'd go. I know. I'll ask her if you can come. No, no, it's her party. I'm, I'm sure she wouldn't want me there. Oh. Uh, you've got some red stuff on your teeth. Snake, can you finish this tour? Please? And here we have the grade 9R project. Our next stop is the drama class. You gotta talk to your dad. Tell him how you feel. I told you I can't. Sure you can. You have to, before it's too late. Look, he's gonna be here tonight, right? This is your big chance to talk to him without Carol. Welcome to the grass. Kathleen, Vivian, and I will take you on the tour. Hi, Alex. Welcome to Degrassi, Mr. Kobolowski. See you. 
Hi, I want you to meet someone. And this must be Mrs. Kobolowski. She's not my mother. I knew I shouldn't have come here. Nonsense. That was rude. Me? Rude? This is supposed to be for parents. I didn't think you'd mind if I invited Carol. Well, I do mind. I can't cope with this. I think I should leave. Yeah, leave. Arthur, smarten up. We were doing fine without you. I'm leaving. Very disappointed. That was very mean. Carol! Carol! Welcome to Degrassi. Thank you. Welcome to Degrassi. Welcome to Degrassi. I feel sorry for Snake. Yeah, stuck with that Melanie chick. Don't you think she's totally immature? Oh, for sure. And her makeup? <laughs> Talk about overdose. I think she's got a major crush on him. As if he'd ever like her. Why don't the two of you just shut up? <sighs> At least Melanie's nice, which is more than I can say for either of you. Oh, excuse me. What's her problem? Can't we have a decent conversation? Hello. Why are you always on her side? You're supposed to be my dad. I'm sorry I haven't been spending as much time with you as usual. Where's Carol? We had a little talk. We've decided to slow things down a bit. We're not going to see each other for a while. Really? Really. You made the right decision, Dad. It wasn't my decision. <laughs> I thought things were going all right. Come on, Dad. You don't need Carol. Sometimes us old guys get lonely. But you're not alone. You've got me. I know. Wanna watch TV? It's kind of late to make dinner. Do you want me to microwave a pizza? You have what you want. I'm not too hungry. Thanks for sticking up for me yesterday. Allison's not his type anyway. Trust me. Do you want to come over tonight? I can't. Okay. No problem. I've got a counseling session. Really? I've been going for a while now. That's great, right? Maybe. If you tell anyone, I'll kill you. My lips are sealed, I swear it. Melanie? Hi, Snake. See you in class. I've been meaning to ask you. I was going to yesterday, but you sort of disappeared. You know the graduation dance? Do you want to go, well, sort of, together? Great.
So what happened when you got home? Dad says he and Carol aren't going to see each other anymore. Really? All right. She kind of dumped him. I wonder why she dumped my dad. He's a nice guy. He's lucky to be rid of him. Yeah, but you should have seen him last night. He was so sad. I haven't seen him like this since the divorce. Come on, Arthur. We won. And how come I feel so lousy? <laughs>